heartbroken, I went in. To be honest with you, the hip hop game has a glitch right now. People can't even string a, a sentence together. People are just all broken. But my personal view is that this country, this country called South Africa, is not what you all think it is. The democratic state is in the center, and on the left, there's a criminal state, and on the right, there's a corporate state. And all these two, all that they're doing, they're squeezing that democratic state and they're squeezing the life out of it. And that's why we are losing lives every day. The old people do not care for the young people. It, I can name them. I can use up this interview just naming all our people that are dying at the hands of the criminal state. So if the young people of this country, who are the majority of this country, don't realize that the list is long, it's just a matter of time. Next time, we must now be normalized. I must say that after Kinen, I must be ready to go bury someone. So I must start freeing up my weekends because all my peers are going. All the young people are, are going. What's happening to the future of this country? The young people are dying. And intentionally and deliberately, not by mistake, not because of social ills and what young people are doing, maybe drinking and driving. Our people, our young people at well, City Lights are gone. City Light was shot in front of everyone. Where's City Lights now? Six feet under, we forgot about him. It's a matter of time. We're going to forget about Kinen because they're forcing us to normalize the, the, the death of young people like we are being forced to normalize electricity, load shedding and all this nonsense that's happening in our country. Really to the Forbes family, I just want to say thank you for sharing your son with us. Um, he loved his family. Um, he loved loud. Everybody, he loved them so loud. Um, up until that last moment when he and, and Murder were, were posing together and you could just see that that's his love, you know. Um, so thank you to the Forbes family for sharing him with us. Um, it's been good watching him from where he began to being an international mega star. And my condolences to the family, to Lynn, to Tony who he loved and Cairo as well. Um, yeah, man, like that, that it's so painful because... Um, he loved Cairo. We saw that. We we loved to see it. He was internationally acclaimed. He was acclaimed all over the continent, all over the country, all over the world. And he represented us. He flew the South African flag high. It was never just about him and his name. It was never just about, you know, his music. But at all times, he always brought it back to South Africa. He was such a patriot. So not only have we lost, you know, just the best music. I got so excited when I found out he was releasing music again, you know. Um, and it's, it's a loss not only just because of what he meant to us in the summertime or when we're all hanging out together or whatnot, but what he meant to us as a country, you know.